Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation. My name is Ayrton Oriola. I will present my research on ear centering for near distance head-related transfer functions. This research has been done in collaboration with Professor Sakamoto from Tohoku University and Cesar Salvador from Perception Research. The outline of this presentation is as follows. First, I will introduce the motivation, problematic, and our proposal. Second, I will talk about concepts related to ear centering for near distance HRPFs. Third, I will evaluate the performance of plane wave and spherical wave ear centering. Fourth, I will name some considerations for practical implementations. And finally, I will state the conclusions of this research. Introduction. The necessity is accurate HRTF synthesis for near field auditory displays. The method, the spherical Fourier transform, is widely used in near distance HRTF synthesis. The problem, the mismatch between the center of the SFT and the measurement positions demands a high number of basis functions. Ear centering using a translation operator addresses this problematic. Here is a review of ear centering methods. Our research is an extension to SoundShirm and Ben Hur's plane wave translation operator. We propose to include distance information, not just direction, using a free field spherical wave translation operator. Here is an overview of near distance HRTF synthesis. The input is a distribution of free field HRTFs from volt A to R here. The output is a synthesized free field HRTF from volt B to R here. Our proposal focuses on the translation operators. The first and last steps marked on the schematic on the right side of the slide. The intermediate steps, that is, the SFT, distance varying filters or DBFs, order truncation and scaling window, and the ISFT are similar to conventional methods. Plane wave and spherical wave ear centering. Plane wave ear centering consists on translating the reference point from the ear to the center of the head using a translation operator based on free field plane wave. This is the plane wave translation operator used in Ben Hur's research. Our proposal, spherical wave ear centering, incorporates the distance information utilizing a translation operator based on a free field spherical wave. Ear centering for near distance HRTFs. In our geometry, the origin matches the center of the head. The ear position is denoted by R ear. Volt A is a point in a continuous spherical distribution at a far distance A. And volt B is an arbitrary point at a near distance B. Evaluation conditions. The region of interest shown on the left corresponds to the space between two concentric spheres of 20 and 100 centimeter radius. The two head models used to calculate the free field HRTFs are shown on the right. As our initial positions, we used icosahedral grids at a distance of 100 centimeters from the center of the head. We chose grids of 12 and 252 points. The final positions were icosahedral grids at distances from 20 to 100 centimeters from the center of the head with one centimeter spacing. We used grids of 642 points. The maximum frequency for reliable synthesis, Fmax, is calculated using this expression. 
where RH is the radius of a sphere fully containing the head. We chose an empirical value of 16 centimeters. The maximum SFT order to analyze the spherical HRDF datasets is limited by the far to near field transition and the initial resolution of the grid by this expression. We analyzed our results using a synthesis error calculated with this expression. The target HRTF is denoted by H and the synthesized HRTF by H hat. These HRTFs depend on four parameters. B sub i for the 81 radial distances, omega sub j for the 642 directions, F sub k for the 257 frequency pins, and S sub L for the two head models. The results shown correspond to the synthesis error expressed in logarithmic scale from minus 30 to 0 degree. Lower values indicate a better result. Synthesis error for 252 initial HRTF points are shown on the screen. These correspond to an initial SFT grid order of 14. The dashed lines mark the maximum frequency Fmax. And the dashed curves highlight a value of minus 15 dB for the synthesis error and will be used as an indicator to compare among panels. The left panel is the result when no ear centering is applied. The center panel when plane wave ear centering is applied. And the right panel when spherical wave ear centering is applied. If we look at the dash curves, we see that applying ear centering yields a better result than not applying it. The synthesis can be performed to a closer distance to the head without losing accuracy. When comparing center and right panels, we see again that the synthesis improves when utilizing spherical wave ear centering. Now, the synthesis errors for 12 initial HRTF points are shown on screen. These correspond to an initial SFT group grid order of two. We see that even for a small number of points, good improvements can be achieved. Once again, the use of ear centering outperforms the lack of it when we look at the dash curves. When comparing center and right panels, we can still see improvements when utilizing spherical wave ear centering at near distances. More results can be found on the manuscript. To sum up the results, Below Fmax, spherical wave ear centering outperforms no ear centering with an overall improvement across distances of 6 dB. Below Fmax, spherical wave ear centering outperforms plane wave ear centering with an overall improvement across distances of 3 dB. Below 30 centimeters, this 3 dB enhancement falls beyond Fmax. some considerations for practical implementations. The spatialization scheme can be divided into two separate processes. Offline analysis consists mainly of three operations. The FFT, the direct ear centering, and the SFT. For each frequency pin, the complexity of the process is n grid to the fourth power multiplied by n squared. Online synthesis consists on the remaining processes, the DBFs, the order truncation and scaling window, the ISFT, and the IFFT. For each frequency pin, the complexity of the process is n squared. 
To conclude, synthesis accuracy increased consistently when comparing spherical wave to plane wave translation operators. Enhancements were observed at near distances within the frequency range of operation, even beyond Fmax. Extensions to this work might include regularization techniques to further optimize the bandwidth of the SFT, as well as perceptual evaluation by means of detectability of differences and localization tests. Thanks for your attention. If there are any comments or questions, I will gladly address them.